night, well, good morning. It's been a while, but I recently uh, traveled to Utah and we saw some magnificent rock formation. Uh, that was just amazing scene at Bryce Canyon and uh, Zion National Park. And uh, it almost never fails, uh, which I've heard over the years by people that are I would say struggling to believe in a God where the creation uh, says 6,000 years old. They have an issue with that. Of course, if you don't want to believe in God or the Bible, you can pretty much bring any argument to the table and uh, you just don't have to believe in him. But this particular topic, how the earth is, uh, you know, according to the Genesis, it's young or 6,000 years old, to them, you know, it just, it's hard to fathom. So to that, I have a rebuttal. And that's how God created Adam. Obviously, from the text, we understand that God created Adam functional already and mature. Adam wasn't a baby, neither was Eve. God created both Adam and Eve as mature men and women. Uh, he could have easily been 20, 30 years old. The Bible doesn't mention that, but he was mature and sexually functional. And that's why God gave him the commandment, be fruitful and multiply. So this is a good common argument for the young creation or um, the creation of the appearance of age. Some people or scholars say it. And the skeptics interrupt uh, as a suggestion that God made a young earth, but deceived us into thinking it was much older. Now, I would again introduce the same argument for the functional of, uh, sorry, the creation of a functional universe. Just like he made Adam and Eve automatically functional, why not create the earth stars and heaven uh, immediately functional in other words if it takes a human more than at least a decade if not more to be sexually mature to, for reproduction um, he made Adam and Eve to get busy right away he can make the earth and the stars the same thing now God didn't make Adam a baby because there was no parent to take care of the baby therefore he had to make him already a, a fully mature man to function so similarly if it takes five billion years for the light to reach us from a star five uh, billion light years away God can specifically make the stars to give light to them so if God's quite capable of producing or making Adam of full age, he could do the same thing with the stars to give immediate light of stream to the earth. And the same manner, he could do the same for sand or soil. He created soil naturally by glacial friction against rock, thus creating a soil covered the planet that looked like billions of years, right? So, it, it it's the same theme here it could have the appearance of an old uh, earth uh, but it doesn't have to be God wanted he, he created the soil for the plants to grow from the beginning and he could supernaturally just like he created Adam to create such volumes of dirt that would have taken ages to produce naturally likewise trees mature it takes some years to become mature uh, but he made them where it could bear fruit right away he could create a tree that has fruits already can he not so simply to make a turnkey universe ready to go online immediately he would create up front sufficient conditions as would have required nature millions and maybe billions of years to produce. These phenomena may be misinterpreted as the appearance of the age, 
but I would simply see it as purposeful design of a functional system. So if you have friends that tell you, oh, you know, the earth, it looks much older than that, and they bring in the science aspect of it, like science that they know of or the scientists they believe in are true, but why not produce or offer them uh, this analogy? Nothing wrong with that. I hope that helps.